Look, I'll be as quick as I can. Meanwhile, if you'll all turn to page 83 and study the sentences giving examples of the various vowel sounds, yeah? And Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Yeah. Allow me. Thank you. OK, I'm in charge. <laughs> Who wants the Davino? Can it be? OK, I stick. Pontoon, five cards, trick only. What you got? Queen of hearts, jock of spades. Uh. <laughs> hey, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. You should be improving your mind. You can improve my mind anytime. <laughs> How about tonight, huh? We have the meal, a couple of glasses of vino, then back to my place to make a love. That is not improving the mind. No, but it's, it's very good for the body. <laughs> hey, put this coming. Sit still. I'll be back immediately. <laughs> oh, blimey. What a funny woman we are having. I, I don't think I'm going to like this new teacher. I think I go home. I, oh, I go home too. Nine. What is use of going home? You cannot learn the English at home. Maybe I find a way. There huh? is no way. I am thinking if we make new teacher go away, perhaps Mr. Brown is coming back. And how you make new teacher go? Very easy. <laughs> That's no good. We get blood all over the class. <laughs> Much better we push her out of the window. Ah, it is looking like we are being stuck with her. We must do something. It is duty to obey erected authorities. Not so. Rules are made to be obeyed. Not even laws. Is bad law? Principles actional. Unjust. He's right. But what can we do? There is nothing we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. What idea? We have a strike. Yeah, let's all have a strike. What is this strike? Does this mean you're going to be fighting? No, 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 no. <laughs> a strike, like the big onions. What onions? The trade onions. <laughs> I think your strike is not going to be working. What we are needing is to be revolting. And I am thinking you're already revolting. You are asking for a kick up the head. Hey, come on, <laughs> silly, silly, huh? Let's not quarrel amongst ourselves, yes. huh? I know. Why not we all have a sit out? You mean a sit in? Much better adopt policy of non cooperation. Por favor. New teacher alive in classroom, we no cooperate. No, as Patrick plays this part. For once, Japan, China, in an uh, agreement, we now speak to new teacher. I like it. We keep the trap shut. <laughs> Silencio, understand? Si. Shh. Not speaking. Not a word. Uh, stum. That's right. Hey, the senora, she can't. Ask to come back. But we miss you. Yes. Yes. Look, when I got your message to call here, I thought it was for something serious. But we are serious. Yes. If you ask Miss Courtney, she's going to have you back. Yes. Yes. No, I'm sorry, it's out of the question. If she wants me back, she'll have to ask me. Now, if that's all there is, I'll say goodbye. Oh, Mr. Oh. Brown! Hey, Mr. Please. Brown! Oh, oh. I'm just uh, seeing something. I was just going to look in on your old class. <laughs> I, I was, was wondering... wondering... Sorry. After you. No, 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 after you. Well, I was just wondering whether you'd consider coming back. I was just going to ask you if there was any chance of coming back. That's settled then. I thought you preferred uh, women teachers. I do. But Miss Hardacre was more masculine than most men I've met. <laughs> well, do you want your job back or don't you? Oh, yes. Good, you've got it. We win, we win! Mr. Brownies are coming back! Yay! <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> nice I shall be a moment. Um, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Good. And pick a subject. <laughs> OK. Now we talk about the girls. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, big fiesta. Plenty drink. Uh, it is the last night of freedom. Uh, thank you, please. But it is not necessary. I do not drink. Don't be selfish. <laughs> it's a tradition. The night before the wedding, 
for the bride broke to be slashed. <laughs> I seek you all men are male chauvinist fig. Why you not invite us to the pub? What? And spoils the evening? <laughs> <laughs> you make your own fiesta. Uh, we go to PUBG, all ladies. No, please. Jamila is right. We have our own celebration. Mm. That's right. Ali. Yes, please. Could I see you, please? You are seeing me now. <laughs> I mean, I want to see you in private in Miss Courtney's office. It's rather important. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I will be back very soon, my beloved. Oh, <laughs> oh l'amour. Toujours l'amour. I wonder what was so important for Mr. Brown to be telling Ali. And maybe he's going to tell him the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, now pay attention, everybody. Ali and Suli have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll just have to cancel. Excuse, please. You do not have to be cancelling it. But we have nothing to celebrate. Oh, blimey, yes, we have. My lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. Oh! <laughs> Half an hour more. I say, come back. <laughs> Just a moment. Where do you all think you're going? <laughs> to the park. Mr. Brown, this is most unsatisfactory. Well, I agree. Well, what are you going to do about well, it? There's only one thing I can do. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Giovanni, would you take charge of the class? Well, <laughs> See, Professor. <laughs> what do you want? You're supposed to be studying the books. <laughs> Who says so? I say so. <laughs> yeah? Look, Professor is putting me in charge. You gotta do what I tell you. Now, I'm gonna ask her the questions and you're gonna give me the answers. <laughs> okay, cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Ali. Uh huh. Yeah, yes, please. What is a noun? Oh, blimey. It is very simple. Nauna is a lady who is living in a convent. <laughs> That's a nana. Hey, Jamila. <laughs> What's the plural of a thief? Eh? The plural of a thief. A thief. Robbers. No. <laughs> no, not the robbers. Uh. Look. These are robbers. <laughs> now, look, one a thief, two thieves. That's better. Max, what's the opposite of bitter? Lotter. <laughs> That's not right. Sure it is. Opposite of bitter money is lotter money. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanni. You can sit down now. Uh, Juan, I think it might be a good idea if Boris sat next to you. Eh, 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 vamos. What is the name for a group of cows? Por favor. Hey, come on. You know what I'm saying. You might have fooled Professor, you're not to fool me, huh? Now, what's the name for a group of cows? I don't know. A herd of cows. Por favor. Herd of cows. Sure, I heard of cows. <laughs> Santa Maria, a herd of cows is a lot of cows. <laughs> and you speak a lot of bulls. <laughs> right, thank you, Giovanni. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I tell you, Professor, I don't know how you put up with all these foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to see you. Giovanni, would you like... Oh, <laughs> oh, very well. Right, Giovanni, out here. Certainly, Professor. Right, would you take the chair? Sure. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, will you chair the debate? Excuse me. Right. Let Ali finish and then uh, throw it open, give everybody a say, then take a vote, and if I'm still not back by then, you can dismiss the class and go home. Right? OK. <laughs> OK. You heard what Professor is say? Ali's to finish. We have the talk. We have the vote. And then we go home. Okay? So yeah. You finish, Ali? No, I haven't. I was. You finish! <laughs> Anybody want to talk? No. 
Okay, we take the vote. Everybody think TV's okay, put up at the hands. Everybody think TV's not okay, put up at the hands. Ah, uh, we call it a drawer. Class dismiss! You going somewhere? <laughs> what am I going to do? Not to worry. We find him for you. We search at the school. Sid and Gladys, they have looked everywhere. Maybe he's being baby napped. <laughs> you must be mean kidnapped. Yes, please. Mr. and Mrs. Barclay, they are going to kill me. How am I going to tell them I've lost their baby? Why not write them a letter? <laughs> I got an idea. If somebody stole Daniel's baby, why not we go outside and steal someone else's baby? <laughs> Don't be so stupid, Max. Now <laughs> <laughs> settle down and study your books. And why are you crying? No, 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 I'm no, wondering no. what new teacher will be like. He won't be as nice as Monsieur Brown. Maybe we are we have lady teacher. Hey, listen, everybody, the boss is back. <gasps> Mr. Brown, no? That's right. Sid just told us he didn't get the job. He can be coming back here. Uh, it's too late. We got a new teacher. If new teacher leaves, professor, he can come back. How can new teacher leave? We fix it. <laughs> we all act as stupid. <laughs> new teacher thinks, I not teach these people. I leave. That's a good idea, amigo. We all give stupid answers. For you, that is easy. <laughs> your new teacher, Mr. Wilkins. And Mr. Wilkins is your students. And the other man are Schmidt, Juan Cervantes, Chung Su Lee, Ranjit Singh, Giovanni Capella, Daniel Fab, Maximilian Papandreas, Jamila Sin, Ranja, and Taro Nagazumi. You'll soon get to know them. <laughs> Any problem, I shall be in my office. Right. I do hope we're all going to get on together extremely well. <laughs> now, you. Can you tell me how far you're up to? Por favor. How far are you up to? Ah, si, si. Uh, I am uh, uh, five feet eleven inches. No, no, no. Not how tall you are. Five feet eleven inches. <laughs> Never mind. I'll soon find out what progress you've made so far. Now, you. What is the feminine of Drake? Miss Drake. <laughs> really? You. Spell cough. K-O-F-F. -F. <laughs> what is an apostrophe? According to the New Testament, there are 12 apostrophes. <laughs> Peter, Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. <laughs> you, give me a sentence using the word defer. Minks are bred for defer. <laughs> You, explain the meaning of the phrase, to bury the hatchet. To chop someone's head off. <laughs> you, complete the following proverb. People who live in glass houses... ...should get undressed in the dark. <laughs> explain what is meant by a circular letter. Most certainly. A circular letter is the letter O. <laughs> you, hustle. Uh, oh, <laughs> what is an aspirate? It is a table so. You take it. When you have cold. <laughs> oh, you, could you please, please tell me, what is the opposite of a coward? A bullard. <laughs> well, I am appalled at your lack of knowledge of the English language. In all my years as a teacher, I have never come across a class as ignorant as you are. Oh, no wonder your former teacher left. It's enough to make any ordinary man leave. However, I am no ordinary man. I shall look upon this task as a personal challenge. <laughs> I'm going to teach you all English if it takes me a lifetime. Now! <laughs> Please, Anna, tell us what is the matter. I'm all right. How can he be saying you are all right when you have been crying buckets of water? <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to help. 
How you know we can do nothing to help if you not tell us your problem? All right, I tell you. I have to go back to West Germany. But why you got to go back? My visa has all pairs kaput. <laughs> Finished. Two years is nearly up. Why not ask for extension? Won't work. I have a friend from East Germany, Eva, also au pair. She's been told she has to go back next month. You don't want to go back? No, I want to stay here. You can be staying with me. I hide you. Nobody will be knowing you are there. <laughs> Thank you, Ranjit, but it won't work. Maybe you ask for diplomatic immunity. Ah, Suli is right. You can be a detector. <laughs> Defector. <laughs> ah, that is what I mean. People only defect from east to west. I'm already in the west. <laughs> you can go to the Chinese embassy and join with the Republic of China in fight against Russian aggression. <laughs> I want to stay here in England. I have answer. Become British citizen. How? Wife automatically take her nationality of husband. Hey, that taro's got something. You must get married. With an Englishman. Hey, how about Sid? He is an Englishman. He's already being married. Yeah. We put something in the newspaper. Wanted. Smart Englishman, plenty money, good looks, to marry beautiful German girl. Very sexy. I can't do that. Sure you can. When I marry, it must be Mr. Wright. Is he English? Who? This Mr. Wright. I haven't met him yet. Oh, blimey. How can he be marrying someone he haven't met yet? What Anna means, when she marries, she marries Mr. Wright, not Mr. Wrong. But he's be sound like a foreign person. <laughs> Who? Mr. Wrong. <laughs> Don't take any notice of them, Anna. What I mean is, when I get married, it must be for love. You don't have to live with him. All you gotta do is get a British passport by getting married. Then after a couple of months, you get a divorce. Who's going to agree to marry me for a couple of months? Hey, plenty people. Hey, now let's think of somebody. First, he's got to be English. Hey, that's right. Hey, I'm a little bit stupid. <laughs> somebody simple, huh? Who we can twist round a little finger? It is impossible. Hey, God will find a way. Tell me, where is God going to find a stupid, simple Englishman whom we can twist round our little finger? <laughs> Deo Grazia. <laughs> what was that one? Eh, uh, sorry, nothing, nothing. Now, oh, about your homework. Hey, Professore, after class, we invite you to the pub for a drink, huh? Oh, that's very kind of you. Good. But I'm afraid I've got rather a lot of work to do. Oh, oh you yes. must come, Bosch. We will be so disappointed if you do not come. Ah, oh, well, if you put it like that, how can I resist? <laughs> Now, don't forget, we give Mr. Brown plenty of the softer soap. Eh, what is the softer soap? The flannel. Soft soap flannel. Is he going to have a bath? <laughs> I think he means we are going to be getting Mr. Brown in a good mood. Eh, why don't you speak the better English? Hey, I think they're coming back. Okay, okay. Now, not to worry, Anna. We fix you up, huh? There we are, then. Who ordered what shorts? Uh, hey, Professori, you sit here next to Anna, huh? All right, thank you. Right, now, what should we drink to? To the future. To the future. Ah, <laughs> salute. Salute. Cheers. You ever think about the future, Professori? Sometimes. You ever think of getting married, Bosch? Not really. Yeah, every man should be married. Especially to a woman. Not <laughs> <laughs> living by yourself? Men, no. Uh, not mean to live by bread alone. It is not natural. Men and women are made for each other. In China, we believe it is duty of every citizen to marry and produce riddle citizen. <laughs> you are missing a lot of nice pleasures. You're all very concerned to get me married off. We are only wanting you to be happy. Well, I'm quite happy as I am, thank you. What about you, Anna? You haven't said anything yet. Or are you against marriage? Oh, no, I would like to be married. I can't understand why she's not married already. Such a beautiful girl, eh, Professori? <laughs> Pardon? That Anna, she's a beautiful girl. <laughs> yes, yes. 
one day she's gonna make somebody a nice wife. She's a wonderful cook. Ah, uh, good with the house cleaning. Kind-hearted. Very careful with the money. Always a top. Faithful. A man would be lucky to have such wife. I smell something fishy. Oh, blimey. It must be the curried prawn I'm having for lunch. <laughs> I'm not stupid. This has something to do with you, Anna. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. OK, we tell you the truth, Professori. Anna is in the big trouble. She, she's got to get married. <laughs> <laughs> got to. Sure, boss. There is no other way. Miss Courtney was right, then. Miss Courtney knows about Anna. Well, she suspected correctly, as it turns out. Can you not be helper, Master G? Well, I'll do my best. Now, listen, Anna, do you know who's responsible for um, your condition? Yeah. Good. Who is it? The Home Secretary. <laughs> I beg your pardon? He is the one. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You must be mistaken. No, he is the one. Well, I'm afraid he must have been lying. Who was lying? Well, this person who told you that he was the Home Secretary. <laughs> Person. Well, the person who put you in the state you are in. Yeah, as a home secretary. <laughs> Couldn't have been the home secretary. It was. My girlfriend Eva is in the same boat with me. <laughs> you, mean, you mean your girlfriend is also in your condition? Yeah. Well, both of you were in the same boat with the home secretary? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's true. Eva has written to him, but he says her visa cannot be extended. <laughs> Mine also is ending. That is why I must get married with an Englishman. Just a minute. You mean you want to get married to stay in the country? Yeah. And for no other reason? Nein. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Okey dokey, when will we fix the wedding? There won't be a wedding. Oh, oh. 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 Shh, look, Anna, much as I sympathize with your predicament, I can't marry you. Wouldn't be right. I may uh, be old-fashioned, but I believe that people should marry for love and not merely as a matter of convenience. Yeah, you're right. Excuse me, I go to fix my face. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm surprised at you lot. Concocting a stupid idea like that. We only wanted to help Anna. We had to feel yes. very sorry for her. Yeah, well, I'm sure you meant well. Oh, cheers. Come on, I'll get some more drinks now. She is going to be very sad. Yeah. We have to fix something, Giovanni. Hey, I got it, Maxi. <laughs> we get him drunk. <laughs> Who we get drunk? <laughs> Professori. Yeah. Then tomorrow we not remember anything. And we tell him he agreed to marry Anna in here tonight in front of the witnesses. Anna will never agree to that. Sure she will. How you know? We get her drunk as well. 